I mean, I didn't wear it. It was really weird. We didn't have to. We didn't have to wear a hat. Okay.
It feels extremely great to be able to bring back the uh, tournament championship to Alabama State University. It's been a while since we've won, but I felt my girls really persevered. They did the things necessary in order for us to be uh, SWAC champs, so I'm extremely proud of them. Talk a little bit about the goals that you all had at the beginning of the season and where you are now. Yes, we always, our goal is always to try to win 20 plus games uh, throughout the season and win regular season. We fell short of that, but at the same time, we always talked about the third season, which was the SWAC uh, tournament, and we went undefeated and we won the SWAC championship. So our goal is always to uh, win a SWAC uh, regular season as well as the tournament uh, championship, and we were able to do that. Now, um in a situation like this, you don't have a whole lot of time to celebrate because tonight at 6 o'clock you find out where you guys are going to play the tournament. Yes, but the other teams, they're in the same type of uh, scenario that we're in. It's just a matter of us uh, settling down after these festivities and getting back to work on tomorrow. Talk about the reception today, uh, coming back and seeing so many people supporting you all. What does that mean to have the support of the university? It means a lot because last night when we got in around 12, 30 or whatever, we had at least over 100 students waiting for us, although we had to cancel the celebration on yesterday. And I am so elated and happy to see that the student body as well as the the administrators understand the importance of uh, uh, when you become a winner to support them. So it's really exciting to see everybody to come out and support us. And a few of your girls got some individual awards. Kind of talk about a few of those standouts. Yes, uh, um, Danielle Ewer. Okay, she was the surprise of the tournament. If I had to uh, say, I thought she did an extremely uh, uh, a, a great job. She ended up with 22 points in the semi-final uh, game. She was all tournament selectee. Also, you're talking about Jasmine People. She averaged a double-double throughout the year. She was the defensive player of the year, and she made an all-tournament team as well. And then Brittany Wright, the MVP. She tied with scoring, and we thought that she was going to get player of the year, but she didn't. But at the same time, she got the tournament uh, championship. So I'm really pleased with those girls. And the thing about it, the fans and the student body and the alumni, they can enjoy these girls years to come. Jasmine People is a junior. Brittany Wright and Ewer, they are sophomores. So these girls are really doing the things that you want them to do on and off the floor. With the, with the three of them, they average about a 3.8 in the classroom. So I'm really excited about these young ladies and my entire team. It was a team effort. and keep your players in the game and not kind of popping to the magnitude of the game ahead. 
Yes, that's going to be the challenge to calm them down. I, I know they're very excited. We're not going to do it too much uh, uh, different far as uh, what we've done all year. We want to make sure that we defend. That's going to be a key. We make sure that uh, we have an open layup, make layups or what have you, and uh, execute on the offensive end. Anything else you'd like to add? Uh, that, uh, that's, that's pretty much it, but I'm just so excited for the entire university and the Hornet Nation.